Hey folks, I just wanted to go over real quick uh, uh, my experience with this book, which is uh, Thich Nhat Hanh, The uh, Heart of the Buddha's Teaching, uh, Transforming Suffering into Peach, Peace, Joy, and Liberation. So, if you don't know who Thich Nhat Hanh is, he was a uh, nominee for the uh, Nobel Peace Prize, uh, Vietnamese monk, uh, been through war and, and some really crazy, uh, amazing stuff. Uh, amazing person, there's no doubt. Uh, you'll see a lot of his quotations on the internet, uh, very inspirational, and that's why my reading group picked one of his books to read. Now, there's a lot of great stuff in this book, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, it talks about the middle path, which is, you know, uh, inherent in Buddhism, which I really like the idea. It's, uh, you know, neither uh, austerity nor uh, indulgence. So you don't have to give up everything in order to be uh, uh, enlightened or be a Buddhist or, or, or live an enlightened life. You can participate in the world and enjoy its luxuries. But the idea is that you don't want to be attached to those luxuries. Uh, that's a very basic concept. Uh, because those are things that can come and go, and being attached to things causes suffering, and suffering is a big uh, concept in this book. So, and it's not the typical concept of suffering, like you're lying in a hotel bed uh, dying, although that can be applicable, but it's more of the, you know, you raise your expectations and things are taken away from you, and then you cause yourself suffering kind of thing. Now, this book talks about those types of things, but let me just say that Maybe this is the best way I can put it. If, if this were a book on physics, um, it would not be an introduction to physics. Okay, This would be like a graduate level book on physics. So uh, even though the guys that I um, talk to in my group are very intelligent, um, this was a slog for us uh, because the material was, although we, were, we knew something of Buddhism, it was not... Um, we're not experts, and this seems like it's for somebody who already knows the system, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, kind of like the the backstory and all the, um, you know, kind of, uh, how should I say, the architecture of the Buddhist belief system. Let's put it that way. Uh, if you look at some of the chapter titles, in fact, you can see, like, it gets a little, you know, so you talk about the Four Noble Truths, but you talk about the Eightfold Noble Path. And then, um, you know, and the, it gets into, he loves numbers in this, you know. The Three Bodies of Buddha, the Three Jewels, the Four Immeasurable Minds, the Five Aggregates, the Five Powers. You know, uh, he does draw a couple diagrams in here which are helpful. Um, this one with the eight noble, tr uh, the Eightfold Noble Path and the Four Noble Truths is particularly useful. Uh, but what I'm, I guess what I'm saying, though, is if, if, unless you're really uh, familiar with Buddhism already, this is probably not the book, at least it wasn't the book for me. So uh, it's not in a, like, you know, I was, we were looking for uh, things that we could do in our life. Like uh, meditation is obviously a big part of um, Buddhism. But this book doesn't necessarily tell one how to meditate. It will talk about meditation in a general way and say how it is integral to uh, uh, addressing one of the noble truths or, or something of that nature. But it doesn't, it's not like a how to guide. And I think that's what we were trying to uh, accomplish uh, was, was find a how to guide uh, to, um, to learn more about Buddhism. And this wasn't that book. So even though this is a, uh, he's a great author, uh, this book is something for somebody that's more along, more advanced in their study. So I just wanted to throw that out there because we spent a lot of time on this um, and uh, we ultimately are going to um, put this down and go in favor of something else. So I hope this, uh, this helps you so that, uh, you know, you can find the book that you're looking for and the book that you need at this particular time in your particular journey for knowledge uh, and truth. 
And if you uh, can help me by uh, hitting the like button and leaving a comment, that would be fantastic. So I appreciate that. I hope all is well with everyone out there. See if you can help someone. It certainly helps you when you do. Uh, thanks for uh, being here and listening to me. Have a great day. Take care.